Ever told a nigga that you ain't want to be with them no more? This what the fuck happened. This is the story of Kelvy McRae, aged 18, a young, beautiful, talented, and hardworking lady who was killed by her obsessed 19-year-old boyfriend Kayshawn Shaw, who she let live with him because he had nowhere to live. Kayshawn was so obsessed that he had threatened her with a gun a day prior to this incident and would not let her go anywhere without him. He did not allow her to live her life until he eventually shot her dead while she was eating dinner and on FaceTime live talking to her friends, even though he proposed to her not too long ago. Somebody just came, I think, just came in and shot my daughter. Is your daughter Yes. Shot? I think so, ma'am. What do you mean you think so? Did someone come in and shoot her? Hi, let's see the location of the emergency. Hi, this is West Palm. Call her by her daughter is shot. Mother! Okay. All right. Her friends saw everything happen live. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Yes, you see my cousin. Give a spin, give a spin. Yes. This story will be taking us to West Palm Beach, Florida. West Palm Beach is Miami metropolitan area's oldest municipality and became a city in 1894, two years prior to Miami. With a crime rate of 33 per 1,000 residents, West Palm Beach has one of the highest crime rates in America compared to all communities of all sizes, from the smallest towns to the very largest cities. One's chance of becoming a victim of either violent or property crime here is 1 in 30. Kelvy McRae was a young lady who grew up and lived in West Palm Beach, Florida. She attended Grove High School. She played basketball and track while in high school. After high school Kelvy ventured in modeling, singing, social media and e- While doing all this, Kelvy was in college, studying cosmetology and already running her own hairstyling business. She loved making her friends and the young women around her more beautiful. She was not a lazy person by any measure. She was also a daddy's girl, they have a very great bond. They did a lot of things together. She was ready to do whatever it takes to make money. Kelvy was in a relationship with someone by the name of Kayshawn Shaw, age 19. Kayshawn appeared to be a very nice person. They did things together, they have prom pictures on her social media. They were a cute couple according to friends and families. He proposed to her sometimes during the relationship and it was a nice time in her life. Oh! 
Sean and Kelvy lived together, they spent a lot of time together but later on things started going south. Kelvy tried her best to fix things with her boo but unfortunately, she could not, so she let him know that would have to be the end of the relationship. Nothing makes me scared, do you see my hands? Do they look like they're shaking to you? No. Unfortunately that would end up in what led to her demise. Sean was so obsessed with Kelvy, he could not see himself without her. He cried and cried about her leaving him. He tried his best to convince her but she would not have it. Sean, her estranged boyfriend had dated her for over a year at this point but was still living with her in the house at this time because he had nowhere else to stay. This made him more crazy because he didn't want to be thrown out. A day before the actual incident, Kelvy called the police to report what he had done. Sean pointed a gun at her, promising to kill her if she doesn't take him back. He could not let her do anything else if she didn't accept to be his girl. He can be seen in this video, tracking her every move, jumping on her car and breaking her windshield. Ever told a nigga that you ain't want to be with him no more? This what the fuck happened. Mind you, I just got my fucking car fixed. <sighs> A warrant had been issued against Sean on counts including aggravated assault with a firearm and domestic battery by strangulation. Police were looking for him actively and finally found him driving a car somewhere around town. But before they could arrest him, he took off and led them on a chase for five miles. They had to terminate the chase because it was getting unsafe. Kelvy told her friend he had pointed a gun at her earlier in the day and promised to kill her. Her friend replied saying, is he deadass or he laughing? like he got a joking tone or no. Kelvy replied, he deadass. She said, okay. Kelvy replied, he too hurt to laugh. That's fine. We not going to stick around and wait for him to kill you though. So he gotta go some way somehow somewhere. Because at the end of the day he will. You might not think he will but he will. And might kill after. He got to go. Kelvy replied okay. He literally don't love himself enough to leave you alone. In his head it's either you with him or you with nobody. A day after all this, while Kelvy was in her home on 13th Street around 9.40 p.m., 19-year-old Kayshawn Shaw walked into the house while Kelvy was FaceTiming friends then fatally shot her. He shot her in the head and also multiple times in the body. Her mom called 911 after the incident. This came here and shot my daughter. Is your daughter Yes. Shot? I think so, ma'am. What do you mean you think so? Did someone come in and shoot her? Hi, this is location of your emergency. Hi, this is West Palm. Call her by her daughter. Okay, all right. Hello? Despite efforts to resuscitate her, Kelvy was pronounced dead about 30 minutes later. Police arrived and realized that Kayshawn had tried to hurt himself permanently too. He was rushed to the hospital where he remained for a bit before he finally passed away from his injuries. Police say Kelvy McRae's ex-boyfriend killed her and then himself. 
Good evening. I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us now at 10. It is a story we first told you about as breaking news last night at 11. Ari Hyde spoke with that young woman's family earlier tonight. He joins us live in West Palm Beach. And Ari, as much as they're hurting, they say they refuse to be sad. Yeah, this family is showing remarkable strength, Felicia. They tell me they will not spend one moment mourning Kelvin McRae's death. They say they will instead focus all their energies on celebrating her life. Kelvy was a beautiful young soul. You know, she was as intelligent as she was beautiful. Kelvy McRae's family says the 18-year-old had a bright future. She had a flair for life, you know, a flair that still inspires us today. She was in college studying cosmetology, already running her own hairstyling business. She loved making uh, her friends and the young women around her more beautiful. That was a gift that she had to make everything around her beautiful. Wednesday night, Kelvy was killed. Police say her ex-boyfriend, 19-year-old Keyshawn Shaw, came into her home on 13th Street in West Palm Beach, shot her while she was FaceTiming with friends, and then killed himself. A neighbor heard the shots and called 911. And when I ran in the house, I couldn't get in. The mother let me in, and by that time, this girl is... She's on the floor, she's in the... <sighs> we don't know whether he forced his way in. At this point, detectives have not said what he was doing, how he got in the house. Police say Shaw was living with Kelvy. Even after the two broke up in January, she let him stay because he had nowhere else to go. But that ended Tuesday when he threatened Kelvy with a gun. Officers tried to catch him, but he got away until he returned Wednesday night. What would, would drive you to feeling so hopeless that this one relationship that you probably wouldn't even remember in a few years became the crux of your life and, and, and the destroyer of, of futures and potential? But despite what was destroyed, Aiken says his family refuses to let Shaw win, refuses to be devastated by her death. My family's rejoicing. We're rejoicing at the life that Kelby lived. We're rejoicing at the impact she's made. And Aiken tells me they're hoping that perhaps some good can come out of Kelby's death. They're hoping that maybe a woman in an abusive relationship will see what happened to her and perhaps they'll get out and find some place that they can be safe. Kayshawn had been issued a warrant for aggravated assault with a handgun and domestic battery by strangling, highlighting the rising pattern of violence leading up to the fatal shooting. Unfortunately, he is not here to answer for his crime. Her family was devastated about her passing but decided to have a positive outlook about it. Kelvy McRae was a young lady who had her whole life right in front of her. She was doing great but made a mistake of being with someone who is very selfish and self-centered. A very painful and sad ending to the life of Kelvy McRae. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Kelvy McRae. May Kelvy's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.